Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Chemistry is a subject that both mystifies and fascinates students. In the International Year of Chemistry, educators are trying to find new creative ways of teaching this challenging branch of science. And that's what we've got under the microscope in this week's learning world. We have stories from Finland and Hong Kong, and we talk to Marie Curie's granddaughter. Our first destination is the Finnish capital Helsinki, where we focus on an initiative aiming to get the right kind of chemical reaction from school kids. Europe's chemical agency is using games to teach them about new warning symbols for dangerous substances. Let's find out more. The European Chemicals Agency is based here in Helsinki, Finland. And close by is the school which caters for the children of those working at the agency. Today, they're learning to recognize the new chemical hazard symbols. Pupils, today we are going to learn the new pictograms that are about the uh, dangerous chemicals we are using here at laboratories, at school, uh, in industry, and of course at, at home. Soon we are going to have the competition that who will the, be the quickest to find the right labels. Of course, those who get the right answers, they will also get these kind of prizes for you. The teaching method chosen is a recognition game. I want to be a marine biologist. These signs will be pretty useful because I'm going to be talking about chemicals that get into sea, like the oil spills. Those signs might be, let's say, on a shampoo, so I know what they mean. So, yeah, if they're, by example, corrosive, let's say, I know not to put them on my hand. The school was founded in 2008 and has 220 pupils in three sections, English, French and Finnish. The parents of more than half the pupils here work at ECHA. Science is all about the demonstrations, the practicals. Now, we're going to see how sodium reacts with water. We're going to also see how sodium burns, what, what is the color it produces when it burns. Doing experiments is one way of learning, and another is by watching a video like this one. The task of ECA is to implement the EU chemicals legislation, which has two main elements. One is reach for registration of chemicals, and the second one is CLP, the Regulation on Classification, Labeling and Packaging of Chemicals. The name Marie Curie looms large over the world of chemistry. We spoke to her granddaughter, Hélène langevin Joliot, herself a leading scientist. 84-year-old nuclear physicist Hélène langevin Joliot is the granddaughter of Pierre and Marie Curie. She lives in her grandparents' house just south of Paris. Today, she says, science has lost track of what is essential. There is a real problem. Obviously, teaching today has developed a lot compared to what it was 50 years ago or in Marie Curie's time. But we have to accept that despite that, the dominant attitude to science among the wider public is, I don't understand science. So there really is a problem with science teaching. And going back to the ideas of Marie Curie, you really have to think about the approach she developed, where actually she said you can't learn science from a book, you can only learn it by experiencing it. Au bout du compte, on n'apprend pas la science dans les livres, on l'apprend dans le concret. 
Hélène Langevaux-Joliot says that science should be open to everyone. And like her grandmother, she feels that science and humanism should go hand in hand. La science, au niveau fondamental, découvre des faits nouveaux, des lois nouvelles. Fundamentally, etc. science discovers new facts, new ideas. It doesn't dictate how they're used, so people, even non scientists, should have their say about what we use science for. Sur le à quoi ça va servir. Si on laisse. If we just let anyone do anything, whether or not the wider public approves of it, well, that's where science and humanism diverge. Two thousand and eleven is the International Year of Chemistry, and Hélène Langevin Joliot says it's partly achieved its goal. It has developed in the population very often. The general public, very often, they're afraid of chemistry. Of course, chemistry is all around us in nature. In fact, chemically speaking, there's no difference between a natural and an artificial product. We need to make people aware of this reality rather than believing that there's some sort of magic there. And it seems that we're getting there. Important. As we've mentioned, it's the International Year of Chemistry and Hong Kong University is playing its part promoting the science. In this report, we hit the rocks for an insight into the impact of minerals on our lives. And we learn how chemical formulas can help solve crime. Let's have a look. Here in Hong Kong, the university has been running a series of tours and workshops to demonstrate the importance of chemistry in our daily lives. If you look closely enough, it's possible to see that chemical composition determines shape, color, and other properties of all materials, whether they're masonry bricks or diamonds. I hope that the students will have fun and to learn about the positive aspects of chemistry. And I really believe that in the future, if we're going to manage this planet well, I think people need to learn more about chemistry and how to use it. The Rocks, Minerals and Gems Tour also includes a visit to the Stephen Huey Geological Museum. Chemistry is my course subject among the others, but this, this tour really interests me in knowing and studying later on. Maybe at night I will open a book of chemistry and say, ah, oh, this is the crystal I just saw in the museum. And of course, chemistry has been used for years to help solve crimes. So the chemistry department organized a crime scene investigation with university students as the forensic experts. The 30 students here analyzed all the potential evidence to help uncover the murderer. Chemical analysis is important, but so is proper detailed documentation. They can learn how to collect the things and uh, uh, try how to uh, do some experiments and try to use the logic thinking and then to find out the clue. And uh, this is actually a very important in a science research and also a science experiment. The analysis of every clue is important, not only in solving crimes, but also in discovering more about the world we live in. And before we go, a word on the results of our poll on maths. Most of you who voted via our social media agreed that relying on computers for problem solving weakens our powers of mental calculation. Well, what about chemistry? Did you enjoy or dread it at school? Share your thoughts with us on our social media pages.
That's it for now. See you next week. Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.